Sam from Sheridan Computers. Going to be carrying on looking at Asterisk, and I want to continue our video series with um, called Detail Records. So in the last video, we got as far as um, being able to make outbound calls and receive calls with our PBX. So the next logical stage would be to um, set up call detail records. So what are call detail records? Well, they're just what it says, call detail records. Um, Asterisk can log the details of all calls made and received, missed, um, called busy, um, and the likes of things like that. So we're going to have a look at setting them up. If you'd like to hire us for anything, please head across to our website at sheridan.co.uk. Click on the Hire Us button. If you find this video useful, please take the time to hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. If you hit the notifications icon, you will get notifications of any new videos as they are released. So we are SSH'd into our asterisk box where we left off last time. Um, I'm going to be doing this using MySQL. So we need to go ahead and install that. I'm going to become root to do this. Um, the reason for that is that there is uh, an issue with running do as for the secure installation part. So we need to have to become root for this. And then we want to package search MySQL5. So the latest version we have available is MySQL 57, so let me copy that, MySQL 57 server, and we'll go ahead and install that. Now we're going to be doing this with ODBC, so we're going to need this connector here as well, this is a MySQL connector ODBC, Unix ODBC, so we'll install that as well in a second. Answered the phone, so we're good. Okay, so that's installed, and as I mentioned, we want this as well. Let's go ahead and install that. So, yes, we'll install it. Okay, we've installed that and we're going to be using the uh, Unix ODBC package. We need to make sure that's installed. It should be as a result of installing the previous package. Package search ODBC. And I want this. So we'll install that. And it's already installed. Um, so. With that, we now need to uh, secure the MySQL installation. So MySQL secure installation. That's how let's start it. Sys RC MySQL underscore enable equals yes. Service MySQL hyphen server start to start the MySQL server. Now if we go ahead and do the MySQL secure installation again, it should work. So, yes. I'm going to set that to zero for the, uh, for the password, so give a root a password, yes. So, Yes, we'll continue with the password provided. Move anonymous users, yes. Disallow root to log in remotely, yes. Remove test databases and reload privileges. So now that's all done. So um, we need to create our database for asterisk. So let's go ahead and do that. And create database asterisk. You must reset your password. It does that on the first installation. So set password equals password. And 
look at the Asterisk database again. Okay, so we've created the database, but now we need to create the schema for it. Um, so if we pull up a web browser, I want Asterisk 16 CDR MySQL. Then it's here. Um, wiki to asterisk.org. So this is the um, schema that we need to create and it says asterisk version is later than 1.8. You can also add the following columns on. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this into Sorry, phone doesn't stop ringing here. You can probably notice. So I'm just pasting that into a notepad and we need to remove that default settings for call date time or it'll throw up an error. Now if I go ahead and highlight that. Use asterisk. So select the database and then I'm gonna paste the contents in. Show tables, describe, see ya. So we have our table created, uh, and that is the structure of it. <coughs> okay, so we've done that, so now we need to uh, set up ODBC within FreeBSD, so use local, etc. And in here we have odbc.ini, and I think they come out uh, blank. Yeah, they do. And cat odbcinst.ini, which is blank as well. Um, so we're going to need to set these up. So I need to find the MySQL driver. So use ls use local lib start odbc start. And this is the one that we want. Use the local lib my odbc 5w. So the uh, 5a is the just the ASCII version. The 5w is the Unicode version. The w stands for wide. So I need to copy that. And if we add it, uh, odbc inst file, we need to set up the MySQL driver. So description equals mysql driver and then driver equals so that's what we need to put in there and now we need to set up the odbc entry so if we vi odbc dot in and in here I'm going to call this connection name is going to be asterisk Description equals MySQL connector for asterisk. And then on driver equals MySQL. So this driver name has to match what we set up MySQL um, previously. And what server equals localhost. Um, database equals asterisk, which is the name of our database. User equals root and password equals password. So now I've used the root user for um, this, and you shouldn't. You should create a use it yourself to use with asterisk. I'm just doing this as a demo to show how to get it to work. So we've got our ODBC set up. Hopefully, so now let's go into asterisk directory. Um, I 
And the first file that we need to set up is um, the res underscore ODBC to set the ODBC driver up for asterisk. Touch start by creating that. Res underscore ODBC dot conf. So we're going to set up our new connection, ODBC connection. So the name of it is going to be asterisk. Enabled. Yes. DSN asterisk. So the DSN is the um, the ODBC connection that we set up in ODBC.ini and then I'm just going to do max connections 1. That's pretty much all we need to put in there. So now we should be able to go into asterisk and test that. Don't module show like ODBC. And we've got res underscore ODBC, which is what we've just set up. So we need to reload that module reload res underscore ODBC. And as you can see, module reloaded and we've registered the ODBC class asterisk and the DSN is asterisk, which refers back to the DSN, the ODBC. .in. So if we now do ODBC show asterisk, the uh, connection is now set up. Let's exit out of that. Uh, so the next thing that we need to do is to um, actually set up the CDR itself. So to do that we're going to create a new file called cdr.conf. Um, in here we're going to create a general section. We're going to do enabled. Yes. DSN asterisk. Which this DSN is the name that we've just set up in res underscore ODBC. Max connections. One, and then I'm going to do pre-connect. Yes, and that's all that we should need in there. And the next file we need to do is because we're using this as CDR adaptive. Um, the config files are in the old. So if we do old CDR, you can see the sample files here. So you can copy the sample files out and edit them. They're easy enough to do, but I'm just going to create this one. And in here, uh, we're going to put adaptive underscore connection. You can name this whatever you want. And connection equals asterisk. Now that refers back to um, the connection that we've just defined in res underscore ODBC. And we want the table name. We need to specify that equals CDR. So that's the name of the uh, CDR table that we created in the database earlier. Now there's one last thing that we need to do, and we need to change alias start to call date. Because Asterisk uses um, the actual field, it's not called call date, it's called start. And in the SQL database it's call date, so we're aliasing that. If you don't stick that entry in, it will crash. Let's go ahead and save that. It won't crash, it just won't log any calls. <laughs> so let's go ahead and restart asterisk now. Let's go in there. Let me set up my soft phone. So now if I dial uh, test extension 500, was it, that we set up? Congratulations. You so have now we've made that call, we should be able to uh, see that entry in the MySQL database. So let's exit that. Let's go into MySQL, MSU, root, SP, password, use asterisk. And we had the uh, CDR tables. So now if we do select start from CDR. So you can see that the call was made here. So now if I call voicemail. You have no messages. Press two to change folders. Press. And if I do that again, we can now see, so Sam called extension 500. Um, Sam called 
voicemail on extension start 97. And if I ring our office. Hello and thank you for calling Sheridan Computer. And we do that again. So you can now see the uh, date, the time, the source and the telephone number that we dialed. So we're nearly done. Um, the one thing that we need to set up uh, and continued with um, call logging is for call queues. So you can set call queues up so um, as calls come into the system they get queued and then they're distributed to um, your users and they're logged separately so we need to go ahead and do that um, and we need to create a new table for that. So let's go back into MySQL use the asterisk database and then we're going to create a table called QLog so I've got that here and this is a schema for it I'll leave links to the to our forums in the description with um, the schema for these tables so you can copy it and paste it and you don't have to like type them out of here so we're going to create this QLog table so let's go ahead and do that so we've created that And that's the uh, schema for the QLog table. So with that, we need to go into um, the asterisk configuration files and we need to uh, configure the queues to um, log to MySQL instead of logging to a file. So to do that, exit this. And we're gonna copy another config file from the old directory. And we're gonna copy ext config.conf Let's try that again Next config.conf Clear that off right, So we've got our extension configuration which is what we need to adjust next So let's go ahead and edit that uh, I'm going to remove all this And the bit that we want is QLog to MySQL and then general. Let's delete that. And so you can um, have a look at those settings in that file yourself and play with it later. And go ahead and restart asterisk. So call queues, I'm going to go through in the next video. The call queues are, are a pretty advanced feature in Asterisk, they're really good. Um, you know, People enter a queue when they come into the system and then they'll sit in the queue until an agent is free and then the call is passed to the agent. There's also various options you can set for how long people have been sat in the queue, how long they're likely to be sat in the queue. There's just quite a few options on that, so that's going to be a separate video. Uh, the advantage of having your call detail records in a database is obvious. You can pull um, statistics out of them, missed calls for example, how many calls you've received a day. You can see your call patterns. Uh, it just allows you to write a web front end or whatever you want to do to pull that information out of the database. If you'd like to hire us for any projects including Asterisk, please head over to our website and uh, click on the Hire Us button. If you did find this video useful, please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. If you hit the notifications icon, you will get notifications of any videos as they're done, and you'll get the videos of uh, the rest of this set as we're doing them.